neighbor now. You have a neighbor. Say neighbor. Say neighbor. Neighbor. You are welcome. You are in a of freedom. Do you believe in freedom in the house of the Lord? Do you believe in the freedom in the house of the Lord? If the freedom let me all know. I cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. I know you are aiming to step at WCCC Tabernacle. When you step here, your problems are over. That you see yourself to come here is a challenge. You know it's not easy. You know, even the people just here, just in South Africa, to reach here is a problem. Though you must know that kind of struggle, there's something good is somewhere. Can you hear me? Where you go easily, there's nothing. But where you struggle going, there's something good. Are you getting there? Prayer change situations. Prayer change, eh? Like I told you the story that we are reading from Wednesday that I told you to read about Anna. Anna was in great trouble. Deep anguish. Grief. Anna, I mean, women that are here. Even they have no husband, but they will have to have at least one child. Is it? It's not like that, women. It's not like that. But Anna was having a husband. He have no children. Is it easy for her? And what happened? The husband could not stop. He extended to get another wife. Women, is it easy? When a lady came after you having children, but you who are there before, you have uh, nothing. Unproductive. Can I understand the story of Anna? How painful it was. It was very, very painful to Anna. Though she was a Christian, she was a believer, she was praying, fasting. Do, even when we read the Bible, the book of Samuel, we hear Anna was giving me double portion. Anna was giving more than what people have given to God. But, and when we read the story, <laughs> you can hear it stated, God closed his womb. Not a witch doctor, not a family member, no. He's be closed by God, eh? Him, you say God can do it. God closed his eh? womb. The that shows <laughs> there's no other power. Can you hear me? There's no other. There's no other power. There was no other power because it's God who gives children. I mean, children come from God, believe me. It's not because, I mean, your cleverness, whatever. That even parent, you are in trouble for nothing. Those children, when they don't listen to you, you have nothing to do. Report them to God where they're coming from. That you are, that you are suffering. Many parents who have blood pressure because of children. They are not yours. Is God given you the children? If there's a problem, you and the children, don't catch them. Report them to where they are coming from. Give them back to him. Say, I did not have any children. Is you, uh, I mean, is you brought them? If there anything happened, you, I mean, is you. But now the problem are facing our wife. When they came, no children, they say, I love you, my husband. After when they get a child, all the love transfer to the children. 
You have noticed that? You, <laughs> you become like a <laughs> no, nobody. All the love be transferred to the children. And that you see if others are complaining. But he said, when these people did not come, I was good with my wife. But this stranger has come. Do you know children are stranger? Do you know how they're stranger? They're only passing by. Look. After some years, those children will leave you. They go. Special boys. Ah. A wife will say, don't go to your mother. He's a witch. You know that? You know that? Ah. Uh -uh. Boys are be the troublemaker. When they get a wife, the wife will say, you see? Whatever is going on to you is your, is your mother. Is a witch. Don't go there. That shows your son is lost. He's gone. He's gone. But now you have made already a mistake. Because you have neglected the man who can stay for you the whole rest of your life. Because the husband is not going to run away from you. But the children can run away from you. The children can run away anytime. Special boys. I don't trust them. Anytime they can leave. Am I lying? Anytime they can leave. You see, Anna, she was a married woman, but no child. And what was a big challenge? If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the book, first book of Samuel. I'm reading, I'm already reading the Bible. Can you hear me? First book of Samuel, verse 1, that I'm talking about. I know you must understand how your father teach. I want you to be, even when you go somewhere, you don't carry the Bible, you can able to teach the word of God. You must master the word of God in your heart. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? When I start telling your story, you must know which book I'm talking about. Can you hear me? Only you don't, you see people from England, they told you, the teachings... You are so blessed to get the teaching, the truth. That will take you to another level. You see, Anna was the first wife married with Elikana. The husband is named Elikana. But because he cannot able to bear children, Elikana was a rich man, very rich. And in tradition, when you are rich and you don't have children, it's going to be challenge you who's going to inherit what you, you are working for. And for that they was pushed to marry another woman. It's not polygamy started yesterday. Polygamy started long time ago. This is polygamy started in the Old Testament. It did not start yesterday. It started long time ago. Can you hear me? Now it was be pushed to marry another woman. This mothers who does that. Mothers, if your, your wife does not have a child, hey, the woman is in big trouble. The mother will say, ah, why don't you get another one? Tradition started a long time ago. It's not started yesterday. Look, this is Old Testament. How many, I don't know how many years. It was to be pushed to get another woman. That woman, when he came, he became like chicken. Every five months, five. Every five months, five children. Every five months, five children. <laughs> to make Anna to be in great trouble. You know, you don't understand how the devil works. The devil really, really, if what to fix you, he will make you in pain. Now, if a woman who gave a lot of children like this and Anna was suffering because he cannot maybe touch the children or he cannot send the children, he cannot talk to the children. You remember women, what you do, is it? You know what you do, is it? Uh, to make other people down, cannot touch my child, you cannot. I mean, even if you have done something good, but for you because you don't have, I mean, they make funny on you. And it was so painful. And Anna was not a compromised Christian like you. 
Anna, Jose, a Christian. When you read the Bible, no. Anna was a, a Christian, a true believer. She go to church, give, I mean, surrender to every law. But he could not get a child. It was a very big challenge for him. I mean, you have heard yourself, women, regardless how much money the husband gives it to you, if you cannot give a child, I mean, it's a big challenge. If this kind of message has come today, every woman who is inside here, even those washing blessing people who need a child, you are going to have a child today in Jesus' name. It was a big challenge. But Anna was not like you and I who are jumping up and down. Are you getting there? Because Anna came to understand that the problem was not him and people. The problem was her and God. Are you getting there? The problem was not her, her and on her people. The problem was her, her and her God. And he did not know where to go. But one day, when we read the Bible, one day, Anna decided not to talk to people, but to talk to God. Your problem that we are fighting day and night, leave the people alone. Leave the people your problem is not in the hand of people. Your problem is in the hand of her, God. Anna, as she got the will of God, the revelation of God, she decided one day, when we read the Bible, she confronted God. She confronted God. Let me read it for you. First Samuel chapter 1. Are you there? Okay, I'll start verse 9. 1 Samuel chapter 1, verse 9. Once when they had finished eating and drinking in Silo, Anna stood up. Now a little priest was sitting on the, do on the chair by the doorpost of the Lord temple. In a bitterness of sorrow, Anna wept much and prayed to the Lord. And uh, she made a vow, saying, O oh Lord, Almighty, if you will only look up your servant, misery, and remember me, and not forget your servant, but give her a son, then I will give him uh, to the Lord all the days of his life, and no razor will ever be used on his head. As she kept on praying to the Lord, Eli observed a month. Eli the priest observed a month. Anna was praying in her heart and her lips were moving but a voice was not heard. Eli the prophet thought she was drunk and said to her, how long will you keep on getting drunk? Get rid of your wife. Now, not so, my Lord. Anna replied, I'm a woman of deep trouble. I've not been drinking wine or beer. I was pouring out my soul to the Lord. Do not take your soul, your, your servant, for a wicked woman. I've been praying here out of my great anguish and grief. Eli answered to Anna, Go in peace 
and may the Lord of Botswana grant you whatever you have asked from him. She said, may your servant find favor in your eyes. Then she went her way, ate something, and her face no longer downcast. Hallelujah. In the same way, because today is Sunday, I don't have time to, to break down like I break on Wednesday. You see, Anna, he came to understand that his problem was not physically. A problem was a spiritual. Most of the problems that we are facing in our life, they're not uh, physically. Why we are failing? Because we are targeting our problem uh, physically. That when somebody says, ha, you say, ha, fusek, fusek. Anna came to understand that this problem was not physically. Because if physically, she had done what she could do. But she could not get anything. But there's a one day. Say to your neighbor, one day. She said, she said, I'm not going to talk to anyone. I'm going to talk to God. That to say, pray, Anna prayed to the Lord. But listen to me, like my sister came from Canada, just at his own airport, somebody came, said, where are you going? You're not going to reach where you're going. We have many people like this in our life. They call it obstacle. Thank God, your heart was so moved, they say, you don't see Botswana there, you see Botswana in the spirit. I say, I'm already in Botswana. Only the body is here in Canada, but my spirit is already in Botswana. I'm going. Wherever it takes, I'm going. I'll be there. What happened to Anna? The priest himself, who supposed to pray for Anna, he told him, why are you so drunk in this time? Ah, uh -uh. are you sure anybody in the church, when me myself tell you that you are drunk with wine, can you answer me well? Huh? Can you respond me well? When I say, my sister, stop drinking. I mean, you can see yourself that your prayer will cut. Because he came to talk to her when she was praying. He not even tell her, he, he, the, the priest could not wait for Anna to finish praying. The priest attacked Anna when she was uh, praying. <laughs> read the Bible. Can you read? He not say when Anna finished praying. He said when he saw Anna was praying. A mouth was just moving and not saying any word. Then the priest came to him. When uh, stop what you are doing. Stop Bujalwa. Stop your wine. I mean, look. There's anybody can stay in the church. Because right now, just even when the our people there at the door say, Ma, can I your skirt is very short. It's not good here. You get angry. When the people from the parking say, park your car like this, you get angry. Is it? When the usher say, no, move here, push here, you get angry. How much more somebody come to accuse you falsely inside the church? 
Hallelujah. Are you together? Can you hear me? This he was a big obstacle to him, to Anna. He did not wait. The priest did not wait Anna to finish the prayer. As she was in prayer, the priest who could encourage Anna to pray came to him and said, stop your wine. How long? Even he said, how long are you going to stop your wine? Do that shows, he said, Anna always drink wine. When is going to stop the wine? Anybody who can stay in this church, in this particular, if I come to you, stop the wine. When you know you are praying, you are not drinking. What are going to be your reaction? Huh? What is going to be your reaction? Mr. March, what are you going to say now? I'm going to go away. You go away. You will miss. Because Anna was very, very smart. He said to him, no, my Lord. He came to understand he was not talking to the priest. He was talking to God. But one thing you don't understand. Anna knew that that temple did not belong to the priest. It belonged to God. He only needed a holy place. Like you people, you came here to a, a holy place. You only needed a, a holy place that you can communicate with your father. That you could, I mean, I mean, I always tell the people, husband and wife, I say, I'm not necessary to sit one place because, hey, I could not say Shabwa. You know, your wife can remind you that you do not lock the room. The children are going to finish the meal. You know that? You know that? Because this is the way. But when you are alone, you don't look left, you don't look right. You are here for your God. Not even what I'm talking about is not your problem. Your problem, I'm already in a holy ground. What I want is to hear from my God. A priest was any obstacle to Anna. He said to him, why are you so drunk? And when the heart of Anna was, something else was so painful. I mean, he was fighting in the spirit. They said, my Lord, my Lord, can I die like this with no charge when I've ever done anything wrong? But the priest take it in another way. He said, you are drunk. Are you going to come again here next week? Even I know you, it's not be next week. The same time you get your bag and go. But to Are you getting there? But Anna, because he came to understand that anybody can bring any obstacle in her life. He said to him, my Lord, I'm not drunk. I'm here, I'm in pain. I'm talking to my ear, God. I'm talking to my ear, God. This has made us to stop moving to another level because we look what is going out on after us. When we go to church, than to look what you came for. You are here to look at. Ah, they did not clean the chair. Uh, this priest was looking at me like this. Uh, this. You know, you look some reasons why I cannot pack here. They told me to pack that side. Why should you? Know, normally when you go to the house of the Lord, from your house, prepare yourself, prepare your heart. I say no one is going to disturb me. I'm going to my father's house, get what belongs to me. If you get that altitude, from even at the door here, the same people, Asha, can trouble you. Even when you never done anything wrong. It's not because them, the devil want to use them to stop you. But if you know, you don't get angry. No, my sister, <laughs> uh, this is the way. No, my brother, this is the way. 
But now when you get angry, the devil get the advantage. This is the way many of us who come here will not be receiving. Because not the people here, but the demon who does not want you to receive is the one who will follow you in here. They are very stubborn. They will follow you in here. They will come here and follow you. You know that? You know that? They will follow you here. They knew, even right now, as you are sitting here, you find maybe depressed. You find being oppressed. Even find in your stomach now, you do not have a, a stomach ache. Now the stomach starts aching. You do not have a headache. Now the headache starts. All these things, the devil say you must go. Leave this place. And when you are not careful, you will leave. And you miss. You know, that particular day, that was the Anna day. Can you hear me? That particular day, that was Anna. Because how come the priest have to talk to Anna like that? That all was the first day the priest talked to Anna like that. And that was exactly eh, a day. When you see you are going to church and a lot of trouble, even when you reach out, they get the see trouble, you must know, yes, this is my day. Can you hear me? When you go and you know that day is very challenging, very difficult, you must know yourself, I know where I'm going. I'm not going to come back the same as I went there. Anna, she came to understand that the priest was any obstacle to him. He said to him, why are you so drunk like this? But Anna, very smart, he said to him, even he answered very well, he said, ah, ah. He said, no, no, my Lord. He honored the prophet. Because God, he used only a human being to come and rescue you. You cannot come physically. And if Anna could answer wrongly to the prophet, the prophet could not answer, the prophet could not confirm what Anna was praying for. Are you getting it? Eh? Because it's the prophet who told Anna that go in peace. The Lord has granted you your request. Can you see? The same person told him, why are you drunk? Get rid of your wife. But as Anna answered in a polite way, in the, in the spirit, like I told you on Wednesday, Anna did not bring a body that day to church. Anna brought a heart to church. Why would we miss? If Anna could get, bring a body to church, because it's the body that drinks. It's not the heart that drinks. Are you getting there? It's the body that eh, drinks. It's not the heart that eh, drinks. If Anna could take the body that day, Anna could not get a solution. Anna brought a heart to church. Even when the priest was talking to the body, it could not affect Anna because Anna was only the heart that was there. And the heart, heart was true, connected to God. He answered, he said, my Lord, I'm not drunk. I'm a woman of a trouble. I have a request here I've been waiting for so many years. I told my God to give me a male child. But what was very important to Anna, he said to God, if you give it to me, I'll give back eh, to you. This is the way God made a way to prepare Anna that can bring any prophet. Anna got a prophet. Prophet Samuel that we heard in the Bible, a major prophet, came from Anna. From, came from a barren woman. Though that shows what you are waiting for is not happening for so many years. Don't worry. Your time is coming. God is going to do it for you. Only you need the secret of Anna. That was a secret. He knew that he could not leave 
by the body. He left the body at home. He brought the heart to church, to the temple. Because your body does not be needed here. You know this house. You know this house. Your body is not be needed. Only your heart is here needed in this place. Are you together? Please, if you brought your body here, you are not going to get anything. But if your heart is here, you are not going to live here the same as you can. This is what happened to Anna. Anna said, No, my Lord, I'm here. I'm talking to God. I'm not talking to any man. I'm talking to God. I'm telling God my problem. And uh, you see how the man of God was very understanding. When Anna talked to him, and the man of God get the revelation, he said to him, Go in peace. Your God has granted your request. If you miss to pray like Anna, how you pray? You are going to go back the same as you can. Regardless, Canada is very far. But if you don't pray like Anna, you go back the same as you can. But if your heart is here openly, the God that God has brought here in Botswana can grant you whatever you need. How I come to know it is because the vow that Anna made. He said to him, if you give it to me, I'm going to give back to you. Do you know Anna have more children than someone? Do you know Anna have more children than someone? The problem is, is our altitude. You want to become rich. For what for? How many people are going to benefit through your riches? Like one brother said today, he said, man of God, they become so bakokoroka, pompous. Why do you need anointing? If you need anointing, is that to use for people who are in a trouble. To help people who are in a trouble. It's not for yourself that, I mean, wakokoroka. Are you getting there? Help the needy that God has given you. I mean, God cannot come here physically. God use people. If God is using you, it's for his glory. Do exactly what God told you to do to his people. Are uh, you getting there? Be accessible. Be flexible. In the same way, Anna was very smart. He said, uh, There's no woman here. When you get the first child, and God is, you say, I'm going to give it back to God. Yes. I want him to work to be a doctor that can get the shower every day. Are you getting there? But. Anna was very smart. He said to God, if you give it to me, I give back to you. And Anna did exact what he said. Many of us here, what, what did you do what God has given you yesterday? And you still ask him. Huh? Is God never give it to you before? Is God never give you to for he, he, he give it to you. What did you do? How many people benefit what God gave you before? Now you, you are still asking God, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. For what for? Hello? Are you together? Are you together? You don't understand. God will never come here physically. To answer our 
prayer. God, he cannot come to help the needy. God cannot ca come help the poor. Now, what God does, he gives it to you, and you goes to give to his people. Now, God is asking, where it is, what he gave you yesterday? Hello? Is God never give you anything? Is God never give you anything? How did you use what he gave you yesterday? How many people have benefited of yesterday? Anna, you look at the period. I mean, look at the period how long Anna waited. Is it? And after the God give it to her. But she did not care if she have more children or not. You remember? After some few days, Anna took Samuel to the temple, dedicated him to God. And Samuel became a major prophet. He's the one who anointed David. You see, Anna, from Anna, <laughs> how many prophets came after? I mean, look, Anna. Because of Anna, he brought Samuel and many kings and many prophets. You don't need to need to get big things before you start doing God assignment. You must start there eh, small. That the small span. When you start using the little one he has given to you, to one person, God can give now for two people, three people. And God, in extent, can give you the whole world become in your shoulder because you know how to take care of what God is giving you. It was very simple. No one was there when Anna was crying. But through Anna, through Anna, many people came to benefit. The prayer of Anna was not a small prayer. Because when Samuel came, a prophet, how many people benefit through the prophet Samuel? The, the problem we're facing in our lives, we don't understand how God operates. I told you my secret. My secret, every time when I catch a small fish, I'm very ang angry. But even when I catch a small fish, I'm not in a hurry to eat that fish. I remain angry. I take back the small fish in the water to attract the big fish. The same way Anna did. The first child God has given the other to wait for so many years. He gave him back to God to fetch many eh, children. <laughs> Are you getting there? Are you there? That was very smart. He said, Joe, I've waited for so many years. But if God give it to me, I'll give back to him. And he did exact what he told God. And God opened Anna's womb. Not only that, Anna became a mother to a prophet, a major prophet. He's become like Maria who brought uh, Jesus. You become the mother to solution. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, God cannot stop blessing us. Can you hear me? Brother and sister, can you hear me? 
God cannot stop blessing us. But our attitude make God to stop blessing us. Ah, hey, you know, I only have this. If I give it, hey, <laughs> what will happen to me? No. What you have, there's no guarantee. <laughs> Mr. Paul, can you hear me? What you have, there's no. But if you use what you have for God, it's more than a guarantee. Because you are putting in a bank that no disaster can touch it. You know there's a bank that there's no disaster? It's God bank. There's no disaster. There's no thief. There's no collapsing. There's no tsunami. There's nothing. It's there in that bank. And it will remain there. Until years and years. And God, if you want to give it to you, be surprised. The day you want God is going to stand for you. It's just surprise. You don't even expect. And God bring it back to you. You forget it. Anna did not believe that she will be a mother of a prophet. Not only that, a mother of many nations because the prophet brought many life to people. You know, in the Old Testament, a prophet was bigger than a king because a prophet is the one who established the king. You did not know. Only now you don't know what is the meaning of a prophet. As we cannot be, we cannot do politics because we are above politics. We know things before it happens. God will show you what is going to happen tomorrow. But because of people who are, who are addressing their ignorance to keep quiet. Because if I tell you what is going to happen tomorrow, you get advantage, you arrest me. But you can see, I can tell you that, I mean, in this period, this is going to happen. I mean, we're talking about Ebola. In this church, I said, the disease coming, even medical doctor cannot stand it. You have it in the morning, evening, you are gone. You are not seeing Ebola now? It's here. Now. I did not say it in the church. I saw it. I said HIV is better. What you think you cannot do? We know. We see. How, like my brother said, I don't know how the prophet know my problem. No. It's not me talking to you. And one thing you have to know, when I come and talk to you, it's not me talking to you. It's God talking to you in the form of a human being. Because God cannot talk to you. That made Anna to be very happy. When only heard the prophet told him, go in peace. Your God has granted you your request. What happened? Anna left happy and eat because Anna was not eating. Before Anna met the husband, he was already happy because you know God has uh, spoken. You see how we miss? I mean, when we speak the word, that word is a spirit. If you believe, it will come to pass. Because it's the word that makes things to happen. I mean, I want you, 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 you invited me to Rastra and Beck. People does not know that through you, now the mind came back. You invited me to Rastra and Beck. And I went there, I spoke the word, I said, that was Saturday. I said, on Monday, people are going back to work. It not happen. Yes, it, it happened so now. The same Monday. <laughs> but why don't believe? I don't stay in South Africa. I don't know those mind. But when they invited me, the Spirit of the Lord said, go in this such date. Listen to me. When we reach in South Africa, in Rustenburg, there's no people. When the few people are there, we find a group of people there. 
when they have agreed, when they finish the action, they're going to give it to us. They're going to introduce us. When they finish, they tell all the people, go. And they pack everything. I ask my friend, what is happening, Mr. Matt? Oh, the people who agreed that we can use the instrument, whatever they say, they're taking that in. But the pastors, the pastors, they say, oh, we don't want this evil man to use our instrument. Ah, oh, you, I mean, they're witness. They're here. He said, we don't want this evil man to use our instrument. But you need to know, I was not the evil. I was sent by God. I mean, anger and difficulty was in Rustenburg. Because people is more than six months, they're not working. I mean, if it could be you, a, a, a kokoroka or a proud pastor, you could pack your things and come back. Believe me, I was there waiting. I know my brother here, they have to go to look from chairs, they have to look some things. I mean, I was waiting. You know, we started, we supposed to start at 12, is it? We started past 5 p.m. Waiting. I was, I was very cool. Even my people say, I said, don't worry, we will do the work. I told them, even five minutes when they give me a chance, I'll speak the word and it's going to happen. That is South Africa. It's not, it's not Botswana, my country. If I can speak the word to South Africa, what happened here where I'm staying? I went there. There, yeah, the witness. I waited. My sister came here. Can I give you a ticket? I said, don't worry. I'm not going to eat anything until these things must happen. And when I came, I did a crusade for less than one hour. But it became significant. I speak the word. I say, Monday, people must go back to work. And you only heard in the news, oh, people, oh, they've opened their mind. You don't know who opened their mind. I went there to open their mind. It's the way God operates. Anna was waiting the confirmation from the prophet. When Anna heard the prophet say, go in peace. Your God has granted you your request. Anna jumped. He went, made a, a party. Before even he met the husband, Anna already made a, a party because he knew that word was being established. That you see, when you read Isaiah 55, verse 11, he said, my word that goes out, it will never go back empty until it accomplishes what eh, I send it. Normally, us, if people could know us very well, every morning, they could be asking us what your God said. <laughs> you get it there? What your God said, normally in the Old Testament, the king cannot make any decision unless he consults the, the prophet. We are not useful now. No one using us today. The king cannot make any decision unless the prophet eh, speaks. What is very important to the temple of God is your heart, not your body. God does not deal. You know, if I speak to your heart and it remains in your heart, your life, it will change. But if I speak to the body, your body cannot maintain the word of God. I mean, we have, I mean, many people have here now, Regina sitting next to his husband. But when I spoke to her a long time ago, I said, Regina, be careful. No man come next to you. Your husband is going to come back. 
She's there next to the husband. He's sitting there. 18 years of divorce. Is it can happen? Is it easy? This is the word of the prophet. I mean, let the prophet speak to your life. Maintain that word. Let it ring in your mind day after day. Even when something's about to give up, but let that word come back. Let that word come back. Let that, if you study that word day and day, until that word is become physically, it will happen. Come this place. Not any other place that have gone. Come to this place with your heart. With your open air heart. God, he have the whole answer. Can you hear me? God have the whole air. I mean, look. Look at me. I come from a biggest country that can bring, I mean, where I come from is 100 billion people. And they do value God because of the tough time they're going through in DRC. Why well, cannot go back to DRC and do the work? There's no one like me there. But God told me, stay in the desert. I came in this world to do God's work not to make money. Is to fulfill the word of God. The vision I told you is not yet finished the work that God called you. Even me, I did not yet even started the work. So regardless how long you stone me, you're wasting your time. I mean, you listen to me. I have no power to make people rolling down here. I have no power to heal. I know I have no power to speak in your life. All this, there's something that is inside me hidden. Even when we destroy the church, that power, it will remain. The problem is me. Is not the church. Can you hear me? The problem is here. Yeah, is me. You know, I mean, I mean, before even before I came to this building, you not seen one in the garage. You don't see it in one was in the tent. Can you was opening in the tent? He was opening the garage. He's opening under the tree. I mean, it's not the building that brings people power. It's what God has hide under a human being that moves. If you agree with that, you get your share. Can you hear me? You get your, you got your share. I mean, he's there. I mean, believe me, God empowers his people for his people. God raised people for his people. That you see here, how many men of God and women of God coming here. After being here, the ministry, they're no longer the same. That means they're no longer the same. It's because I cannot boast. It's because I available myself. You know what you carry is too heavy. What you carry is too very heavy. Because if God can open your eyes here, you see some crocodile die here, snakes die here. I mean, all kind of evil spirit here, yeah, they're inside here. They're here inside here. Now, why we become target? Is because I become a target because I'm fighting for you. Because you, you cannot fight. Me, I'm fighting for, for you. That I become a target. If I die, they will be able to take you whatever I want to do. They were doing all along. But if I'm still alive, you are going to come out of that bandage. That you do need to pray for us because for your own benefit. You need to protect us. It's for own eh? benefit. 
You, have, you don't have that power. God has given this power for you. Can you hear me? God put it for me because of uh, you. You, you only see the physical thing, but a product of God will see what can happen before it happens. Can I understand? What happened before it happened? It happened. I have Mr. Ruta now. When he went been very far to India for operation, is it? They did the operation. That, that area became now. Is it? From three weeks ago, your wife, she get delivered. Is it? You know why I'm repeating that one? Yes. Eh? yes I'm prophet. repeating that people must learn the power of God. I command the evil spirit that was in her wife. I said to him, is you put diseases in this husband's body, go and take it out. You are getting there. And the evil spirit rise up. That you see the woman was moving. It's not, it's not the woman. It's not the wife. That was the evil spirit. He went there and he touched exact the area that was a trouble. Namines went even all the way from India for operation. What is happening now, sir? I'm fine now, prophet. You are fine? Yes. I remember because after a week, she, he called me and said, hey, you did not touch my wife. Is it true she's delivered? I said to him, no. We don't use physically. As I told the spirit to come back and return your body. And you remember what happened? After touching you, touching your toe, she fell down. And she, your wife was there, delivered. Yes. So that tells you, as I said to the power of God, came so much in you. I, I take the, uh, what is on me, I put on you. When she touched you, she was shocked the electricity. And she fell down. That was a, a deliverance. That you see, I mean, I think you have to give me the money that you have taken to, to India. I mean, he's, I mean, he's a, 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 a high rank man here in Sede. But the way he's working, they did all they could do. But they, they, they could not get solution. But just entering in the Holy Ground. Just that touch. And uh, you heard when the wife was manifesting. Nine times flying. And he was going the, for the tenth time. But just a walking distance. God has brought uh, a solution. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jesus. So this is the work, I mean, the work of God. Because as I mean, a big man in Sadek is the head of finance in Sadek. Now, if that problem continues to persist, the numbness, that shows it cannot continue to work. The devil is at work. But the prophet of God is there to take us out of a bandage. That the work of a prophet of God, leave the prophet alone. If you don't love him, he can be there maybe for your family or for other people or for other citizens. Look, people come from other countries flying to your country, not for tourists, but to come to pray for the church that God has put in your country. How much you are blessed. How much you are blessed. When other countries are crying to have it, you have it, a walking distance. <laughs> Hallelujah. When other countries do not have it, South Africa is the biggest country and more advanced than Botswana, is it? But why they don't have it? God decided to put it here next to you. For a reason. Yeah. 
No one should question. Why? For a reason. If for material, we can go and sit where you can have them. But it's not our portion. The anointing is more than money. We must cherish what God has given us before it can be taken away from us. The anointing work anyway. That you see, I went to South Africa, I speak the word, it is working. I mean, I went to Namibia, I speak the word, it's working. I'm going to go to Canada, I speak the word, it's going to work. We are unlimited. We are unlimited. We can go anywhere. He said, where you go, they welcome you, bless them. Where they chase you, that's your feet. What the meaning? Kiss them. It's very simple. It's reading your Bible. We are blessed. Today, everyone who came here brought his heart is going to receive whatever he's asking for. Regardless how many years you are waiting. The prayer of Anna must be manifested in this place today in Jesus' name. If your heart is here, if your heart is here, yeah, you are going to receive whatever Anna received. Because of the Anna attitude, he said, when you give it to me, I'll give back to you. And God gives him more than what he asked. Be a channel of blessings. Tell your neighbor, say neighbor, neighbor, be a channel of blessings. Hallelujah.